Coverage of Jana Elementary in Florissant. Families voicing their concerns over reports of contamination. Good evening. I'm Brent Solomon. Jana sits on the floodplain of Coldwater Creek. Families are worried about the possible risk in and around the school following reports of high levels of radioactive contamination. Five on your side, Justina Cornell is just back from speaking with him. His concerns, Justina. After reporting about the potential red flags at Jana Elementary, St. Louis County resident Brendan Foley reached out to us. He says he's been heartbroken after losing his closest friend about 15 years ago, and he believes it was connected to Coldwater Creek. These are some letters and postcards that I received from Mike through the years. Uh, he decided to join the Navy after high school. Going down memory lane. <laughs> Precious moments captured in photographs. So I grew up in Florissant, Missouri. Brennan Foley holds on tight to these times with his best friend Mike. Both live near Coldwater Creek. To take our bicycles, ride them over to the creek, play in the creek, cr catch crawdads. So we were literally, you know, up to our necks in the creek. The two were inseparable. We kn knew each other our whole lives. But now, they've been apart for more than a decade. Mike passed away in 2007, and it was a rare form of brain tumor that was pretty aggressive and um, he did everything he could to fight it, but it took his life. He was only 39 when he passed away. Time, time heals, but I still miss Mike. He was, we were really close. Foley believes Mike's health troubles are tied to Coldwater Creek. I mean, I honestly don't have proof, but I do because of the rare type of uh, tumor he had. It was fairly quick. It, it was about two years. It was really painful losing him. I still think about him. In this 2019 exposure analysis from the CDC, it says children who played in or around Coldwater Creek from the 1960s to the 1990s may have been exposed to radiological contaminants. The CDC estimated this exposure could have increased cancers. Foley and his best friend played there in the early 80s. I worry about every person, child around that contaminated soil. Even though the two didn't go to Jana, Foley worries others could lose their best friend too. Find the money, the funds to help clean it up it needs to be done. It's important to me just to keep other people from going through something like this. As far as Jana Elementary, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will begin sampling inside the school on Monday. We have reached out for interviews with Hazelwood School District and the superintendent. We have not heard back. All right, Justina, thanks. Tonight,